Hello everyone, welcome back to Tenorshare channel. Having trouble with backup your iPhone to Mac? iTunes backup taking you too much time? No need to worry, I am going to show you few ways to backup your iPhone to Mac. Backup with iTunes? Connect your iPhone to Mac. Open iTunes, click iPhone icon get in setting page. Before you backup, you need to check your disk storage. In case there is not enough space for backup data. Look at backup section. Click backup now. It will start backup your iPhone. The backup process usually takes at least one half hours. When it is done, you can click restore backup. Select the one you just backup and then wait for a minutes. Backup without iTunes, use Finder. Connect your iPhone to Mac. Open Finder. Select your iPhone. Click General option. Click Backup iPhone to Mac option. Click Backup now. It will take some time, depends on your data size. You can manage your backup in here. Finder will backup your iPhone data to a default path. The data finder backup is not customizable. If you do a slightly changes, it might not able to be restored. Use iCloud. Go to setting page, tap your name, tap iCloud. Scroll down and if iCloud backup. Turn it on. You should know there is only five gigabytes for common user. And if you want to upgrade it, you can check the price here. If you don't want to pay, you can follow the next method. Use Google Drive. Google Drive have extra 10 gigabytes than iCloud. Go to App Store, search, and download Google Drive. Tap Google Drive, tap Sign In, sign in your account. In the top left, tap the menu button, tap Setting, tap Backup. You can choose to turn off some section you do not need to backup, like contacts and calendar. When you finish your choice, tap start backup, tap allow and it will start backup. It will take some time, just wait for it. Use Tenorshare iCare phone. This is an iOS backup tool. You can check the download link in the description. Open iCare phone, check the list on top, click backup and restore. In here, you can choose specific data you want to backup one by one. Or you can choose all. You can choose backup path in here. Click edit. Select the path you like. Click backup. Then it will start backup. The process will take some times, depend on your data size. During backup, Make sure do not disconnect your iPhone to Mac. When the backup is complete, you can click view backup data. You can see there were a lot of section on the left list. You can choose them all or choose them one by one. It is very convenient. When you finish your choice, you can click export to computer. Then your data is back up to your Mac completely. This is the tutorial on how to back up iPhone to Mac with or without iTunes. If you followed one of these methods and succeeded, don't forget to give us a thumb up. I will be grateful if you subscribe. Stay tuned for our next video.